Inspector. Sergeant Reynolds. Sir, I'd like to see my husband, please. Really? Just for five minutes, given the uh, exceptional circumstances. I hope you're not attempting to interfere with an investigation. A supervisory that is allowable, sir. Only with my consent, which is not forthcoming, Sergeant. He hasn't done anything, sir. If he had, I'd know. Did you get the Dingle search warrant sworn out? Well, yes, sir. Then you've got plenty to keep you busy looking for stolen antiques. Now, you don't mind. It has to be a mistake. That's enough, Sergeant. Mr. Reynolds has his solicitor, and I have another five and a half hours in which to determine whether I may or may not have been mistaken. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Paddy. <clears throat> yes? I was just wondering whether you're coming to Miss Stag night at the Dingles tonight. Shouldn't I be at Mandy's night? No, you're my best man. Yes, I suppose I am. And I need the moral support. Well, I thought the whole point of a stag do was that you didn't have any morals. And that's what I'm scared of. At least if you're there, Zach might restrain himself just the tiniest little bit. Hmm, well... I mean, I, I understand if you're not in a party mood because of... Uh... No. No, can't mean I can't sit around here like a zombie for the rest of my life. Oh, and uh, will you stop me if I start doing anything really stupid? Definitely not. Like you said, I am your best man. For the last time, I haven't kidnapped Chris. I haven't hurt Chris. I haven't murdered Chris. I haven't stolen his wheelchair. I haven't pulled the stuffing out of his favourite teddy bear. I'm glad you find this is funny, Mr Reynolds. With respect, I think your grounds for pursuing this line of questioning are extremely tenuous. Really? Well, with respect, I'm still waiting for your client to tell me the truth. What? There is no truth to tell you. Chris is my business partner. I need him back running the firm. In fact, I need to be running the firm, I'm not stuck in here talking to you. So why did you lie to me about your relationship with Mr Tate? I did not lie. You told me that you and Mr Tate were the best of friends, nothing more than rumbustious business colleagues. Yet on the 25th of March this year, you had Mr Tate arrested. All I did was phone the police. Chris had himself arrested. He had himself arrested? It, it was... What's the word? Brinkmanship. You know, we, we were business rivals. And it was, is, a bitter rivalry, isn't it, Mr Reynolds? I mean, you didn't exactly win, did you? What? It's not Reynolds haulage that's in trouble, is it? It's not your name over the door. What the hell has that got to do with anything? You had to sell out to Mr Tate. That must have been painful for a proud man like you, Mr Reynolds. Just how far would you go to have your company back? Your company, with your name. And you, keeping all the money for yourself. Eh? Hi, Angie. You're working on the Tate Haulage case? You know I can't it's talk to you about that. Please, Philip, I don't know what's going on. Angie. Well, what was in that truck? Was it counterfeit? What? Nick, do you have to tell me? You're not being fair. Mates, Phil, you and me, we train together. For heaven's sake, don't that mean anything? OK. The stuff's been checked. It's genuine. There's no trace of it being hot. Happy now? Well, so what's the problem? <sighs> Grey market. The jeans were manufactured in Turkey. Well, isn't that just cheap gear undercutting UK distributors? Yeah, something like that. So Sean hasn't actually done anything illegal. Look, Angie, I can't say any more. I'm sorry this has happened to you, really sorry. I hope it all works out for you. Has this got anything to do with Chris Tate? Sorry, Angie. does it make to you? I want to know. I'd have thought you'd have more important things to worry about than what time it was. 
I do know one thing. And what's that? <sighs> that you don't want to kill me. Whatever gives you that idea. Because you'd have done it by now. Maybe I'm just a lazy, worthless, good for nothing who hasn't got around to it yet. No. No, you kidnap me. You want a ransom. You must do. How do you know I haven't already put in a demand? Maybe no one wants to pay it. That'd be ridiculous. Didn't I tell you about that note I got from your sister? What did it say? Oh, yeah. Keep him and good riddance, signed Zoe Tate. Rubbish. I'm not listening to you. No, that's not right. She signed it. Zoe. Just Zoe. This lies. Whole life. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to. Mind you, it strikes me the last person a Tate should trust is another Tate. I know my sister. She'd never give up on me. The way you treat her, why should she give a monkeys about you? In fact, why should anyone give a monkeys about you? I certainly don't. See ya. Don't you lose your job if Dad gets charged? No. She'll be suspended on 4p until the outcome of the trial. Isn't that right, Mum? Something like that. You'll have to be voting. Will we? Dad goes to prison, you lose your job. You get evicted from the house. They'll probably take us into care. Oh, don't be so stupid, Ollie. Well, someone needs to think about the future. Nobody's going to prison. How do you know that? Because your father hasn't done anything wrong. Look, I just don't understand it, Mum. I mean, if there was just some trouble with the trucks, they wouldn't lock him up like this, would they? I don't know. Look, I'm going to see if any of the guys from the haulage are down at the pub. Maybe they can give me some information as to what's been going on. OK, kids? You're in charge, Ma. Make sure Ollie does her homework. Oh, and, um, just watch out for the dingles, eh? Why? I've had to issue a search warrant of their place. There might be some aggro, so just steer clear. Well, what have they done? You know, I can't tell you that. Just watch yourselves, all right? See you later. Um, uh, do we really need this much beer? Huh? Paddy lad, this is going to be a night to remember. Not that Paddy will remember much, eh, Dad? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Zach. Ollie, it is strictly adults only tonight. No, listen, there's a search warrant on your place. The cop's going to turn you over. When? I don't know, tomorrow or tonight, maybe. What, on Paddy's stand, do? Oh, I don't, I don't mind. Uh, we just have to be on a best behaviour, take it easy with a drink. Why? We've got nothing to hide. Oh, we've always got something to hide, Zach Dingle. What have you been up to? Nothing, I promise. Well, not recently, not as far as I can remember. Did your mum say what we were looking for? No, she won't tell me. Butch, do you know anything about this? No, I haven't done that. I promise. Oh, well, that fills me with confidence, that does. If there is anything, I mean anything dodgy in this house, I want it out, do you understand? Don't worry, Lisa, love. By the time I finish with that place, it'll be cleaner than a vicar's wife runs. Hello. Something wrong? Timmy! Oh, oh. Maddie, you look fantastic. Well, wait till you see me tomorrow. <laughs> then what can I get you? Brandy and Coke, please. What's going on, Pete? I don't know, Angie, honest. Don't muck me around, Pete. You know as much as I do. I don't think so. I wasn't driving the truck. I don't have to say anything to you. Someone tipped off CID. Was it you, Pete? No. You were lucky to be released from custody so quickly. My husband still being questioned makes me wonder what you said to them. I didn't say anything to the police, I swear. Someone did. And I've made enough grasses in my time to have a damn good idea who fingered Sean. Because I can see it in their eyes. Leave him alone, Angie. Stay out of this, Zoe. No. It was me. What? I found out your husband was dealing in dodgy goods. It made me so angry. Exploiting the company while Chris is... Well, wherever he is. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Even if they release Sean tonight, have you any idea what this does to our family? 
to my career, to Ollie and to Mark. Did you even think about that for one second? No. Of course you didn't. Because you don't have a family. You don't have responsibilities. A thought like that wouldn't even cross your mind. A crime was being committed in my brother's company. For your information, there was nothing illegal in that truck. What? Don't ask me how I know, I just do. Why didn't you ask Sean to his face? Because the whole thing was being run on cash. Backhanders. Well, I wonder where you got that little gem from. There was nothing going through the books. I checked. Okay. Right. See you later. Angie? Carpet cleaner you wanted. Ew, it stink. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Mixing cement. Roy! Kelly, we're meant to be cleaning this place, not trashing it. This is Mandy's wedding cake. Are you out of your mind? This isn't your kitchen, you know. I know. Whiskey is ten times better than anything Viv's got. What if that Curtis woman comes back? It doesn't look good, does it? Oh, <laughs> stop worrying. She's never even been here. Yeah, well, don't make an habit of it. I want to do something special for Mandy. You are. You're, you're doing brilliant, uh, getting things organised. No, I'm not. Bernice keeps muscling in. I mean, she's doing most of it. She's not even Mandy's friend. I'm only trying to help you. Well, I'm doing the cake. What kind of cake is it? Well, it's a sort of spongy fruity thing, except I couldn't find all the ingredients and the quantities are different, but it's okay. I've adapted it. You ever, uh, you ever baked a cake before, Kelly? Yeah. When? At school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember. doing? Is Dad in big trouble? I want the truth, Mum. No, he isn't. I'm not stupid. You've just turned your own bedroom over. Has Dad been hiding something? Listen to me, Mark. It... Your dad's just been a bit careless, that's all. And what's he done? Nothing. Nothing serious. Everything's going to be fine. I promise you. <laughs> Dad, what about this? Oh, it's caution. What's he doing down the back of the sofa? Well, in case Lisa has to sleep downstairs, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> Dad, what about this? Oh, uh, get rid of it. Good party. Yeah. Something the matter? It's all right, Ashley. You're not on duty here. Oh, <laughs> I'm always on duty. <laughs> Vicar, that's for you. I don't understand. Uh, consider it a donation. Zach, what about this? That's your wedding present from our Ezra. Yeah, he can't come because, uh, well, he's supposed to be dead. Open, Open it! it! It's a toaster. Angie Reynolds, Nick Toaster. I could murder our Ezra, even if it's supposed to be dead. Hey, does uh, anybody want a toaster? Hello? Somebody? Hello? Oh. Oh, no, you can't go on now. I mean, it just started. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. It's just so many bad things that happened between me and Pad that I don't want to get wrecked and ruined tomorrow. Oh, well, I don't know about anybody else, but there's a good few hours left in me yet. Oh. You sure you're all right, Mandy Law? It's the best time of my whole life. Thanks. Ollie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your pun. Can't you read? This is a hen night. 
it. Strictly no foxes. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> good luck for tomorrow, Mandy. Oh. Oh. Go away, Potter. Oh, oh, and I was just offering my good wishes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> After all, a dingle wedding needs all the luck it can get. Oh, <laughs> well, you won't be there, so it will be a perfect day. Ah, I'll be there in spirit, Mandy, oh. believe me. Oh, no, you oh. Don't let him wind you up, Mandy. Don't worry, nothing. Not even Pollard's going to ruin my day. Yeah! What are you doing here? I've come to collect my husband. You should be releasing him in half an hour. I'm afraid it's not as simple as that, Sergeant. What possible grounds could you have for holding him any longer without charge? Suspected fraud. Fraud? Well, I thought he was being held for importing counterfeit goods. Well, the jeans in the truck checked out. You see? But there is no trace of any monies associated with either of the Paulick shipments anywhere in the Tate Haulage accounts. So I've applied to the super to extend your husband's detention pending investigation into his personal finances. I can save you the bother. The money for both shipments was paid in tonight. Tonight? The night safe. I often drop stuff off for Sean. I don't like the sound of this, Sergeant. It's been a hard time for Sean since Chris Tate disappeared. He's been running the haulage single-handed. I help out where I can. I'll be keeping a close eye on you, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. For stripper camps, I think I might make a discreet exit. Oh, don't worry, Ashley. I won't tell anyone. What's this? Has somebody booked your stripper? Hey. Zoe. How are you doing? Well, I'm still standing, and I know who you are, so I think I'm all right. Look, I want to give you this. What's this? Kiss my cottage. I don't understand. It's my wedding present to you and Mandy. You can have it rent-free for two months. No, no I'm not... Oh, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, you could. I insist. Look, you'd be doing me a favour, really. Oh, sorry, you... You are the best, best, <gasps> best man a man could wish for. It's, oh, thank you so much. Hey, no time for that hanky-panky, buddy lad. It's welly time. Yeah. No, 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 What am I going to do, Emily? I want to show Emily that I'm worth something. And they won't let me. It's not fair. And I'm going to be fitted up for nicking them antiques, and I didn't do it. You do believe me, don't you, Emily? Who are you talking to? Emily. Which Emily's back at Woolpack? Not that Emily. This Emily. I always talk to Emily when Emily Emily in here. She's a good listener. Aren't you, Emily? Ow! Butch? Ow. Are you all right? No, I think I hit something. Well, it's only straw. No, Mandy, there's something else. What is it? Don't know. I've never seen it before in my life. You told you're in trouble for those antiques. OK, Reynolds, you can go. Is that it? No apology. I'll find Mr Tate, dead or alive. And when I do, I'll come for you, Sean. Do you understand? Actually, I don't have to listen to this. Derek, you got my things. It's not me, you are lucky, it's that lad there. Is he Zach Dingle? Hmm? No, 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 I'm Zach Dingle. He's Paddy. Now, I wouldn't be too rough on him if I were you, love. He's a bit worse for wear. <laughs> right, off you go then, lad. I don't believe it. Lad, strippers here! Yeah. Get him up, get him up, get him up! <laughs> get him up, get him up, get him up! I think I'd better be going. <laughs> Come on then, lass. Get Zach on with it! Dingle, I have a warrant to search your premises. Huh? Oh. 
Thank you, God. I mean, it was just an excuse to harass me about Chris Tate. Spaulding's obsessed with the idea that I've murdered him. He's totally loco. Hey, I could murder a beer, though. Oh, come on, love. Give us a kiss. What was that for? Don't you ever, ever do that to me again. Me? I don't even want to talk about what I did tonight. I risked my whole career for you. Look, if you think I'm not great... I'm not interested in your gratitude, Sean. I'm interested in me, my job, my family. And listen to me very carefully. I am not going to throw that away for some half-baked little scam at yours. Angie, please. I'm tired, you're tired. Let's go to bed, we'll talk about it in the morning. No, mate, I'm going to bed, you're sleeping down here. Angie, I've been in a police cell for 24 hours. Good, maybe it'll knock some sense into you. I was only trying to make some extra cash for my family. <laughs> you pathetic little idiot. You pull a stunt like that again, you won't have a family. What? I mean it, Sean. That was your last chance once more, and this marriage is over. What do you want? You planted this in our pig pen. <laughs> Ludicrous. Pollard, you're so obvious. You're just about to get found out for lifting antiques from home farm. So you think you'll frame our butch? Do you really think we're so stupid? Oh, no, not for the moment. But I know you're thieves, and so do the police. So you admit it? <laughs> a little run in with the law isn't going to make any difference to a dingle. That's a brain, you! Except you! Another assault, and you'll do serious time. Good night, Mandy. Oh, Pollard. Yes. You forgot your antique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy. One day he's going to wake up and realise he's married a violent, nagging, inbred oik. And if he's lucky, maybe even tomorrow. <laughs> Malicious assault! That is it. You are finished! Yeah, whatever. Where do you think you're going? I ain't got time to worry about scum like you. I've got a wedding to think about. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs>